What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title is going out. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button for me. Definitely also make sure y'all check out Doug and XL. Amazing guy, amazing information, amazing videos. Before we get in this video, please make sure y'all check out my clothing brand, um, www.inksworldwide.com. It greatly be appreciated. If y'all just, you know, check it out. Um, but, you know, had to jump and see what was going on, you know, with this, uh, this whole thing, you know, with Jack Smith. And honestly, getting a little tired of it. I, I really am. You know, uh, of everybody, you know, being so corrupt and messed up, you know, um, against Trump. Let's get a video. Gather around the fireplace, my children. It's Grandpa Doug here. I'd like to give you a fairy tale called The Judge and the Jackass. Mm. Now, you might think it's um, uh, the jackass is a mean name for Jack Smith, but that's actually an insult to jackasses. Poor little donkeys. Now, Jack Smith is Merrick Garland's kind of the goon, okay? Merrick Garland is the brain who installed Jack Smith, and now Jack Smith uh, is, you know, and then he's pointed to who to go attack. And in this case, it's Aileen Cannon that we're covering today. So first, uh, he was illegally appointed. I want to go into that because Aileen Cannon's going to start pushing back on that because she has the ability to disqualify Jack Smith by saying you're an illegal appointment. We've already shown this uh, clip, so I'll, I'll get through it real quick. This is Thomas Massey. Uh, shaking down evil Merrick Garland. And welcome to Doug in Exile. I hope you've subscribed. Get me over that 500,000 mark. We want you to join our crew and have fun all the way to electing Trump back in the White House. Thanks for your support. Was Jack Smith nominated by President Biden or confirmed by the U.S. Senate? Look, you're asking me about a case. Again, motions filed. This, just this is a simple another. question. No, I'm not. Was gonna... Jack Smith nominated by President Biden? No, he was not. No, he wasn't. That should be mm. case closed. Well, could someone else have appointed him or approved him? Was he confirmed by the Senate? No, he was not. When was the special counsel statute passed? There is no special counsel statute. There was an so... independent counsel statute that was uh, expired. Yeah, uh, expired. So you didn't have the authority, you criminal. This could land Merrick Garland in jail when we win the White House back. And it's time to, for us to do to the Democrats, to, for what they did to us, we're going to do to them, not as an act of revenge, but as an act to teach them empathy. So it expired. So what gives you the authority to appoint a special counsel? To create, you've created an office in the, in the U.S. government that does not exist without authorization from Congress. Now that is illegal and unconstitutional. And on those grounds, Aileen Cannon should be able to give Jack Smith the boot. Let's get to an article real quick. Okay, over here. This one is from Slate Magazine. Looks like it just came out yesterday. Aileen Cannon is holding a hearing on whether Jack Smith's appointment was legal. So here's the here's the main headline. The classified documents case gets a new court schedule. Judge Aileen Cannon organized her calendar and changed up a slate of hearings that are coming up for special counsel Jack Smith's classified documents case, adding a new hearing to consider whether Jack's appointment as special counsel was even legal. Trump's attorneys are arguing it wasn't. And of course, it was not legal, as you heard from Thomas Massey. It's not just Trump's attorneys trying to get him out of hot water. No, we've known this was illegal from the start, which Merrick mm -hmm. Garland did, and Jack the ass uh, was illegally appointed. Shouldn't be there causing all this trouble. Judge Cannon's not only uh, taking the rare step of allowing such an argument to move forward. Why is it so rare? She's also allowing outside parties to participate in oral arguments. Now you're gonna hear this kind of talk a lot about her allowing outside experts to come in. They act like they're just pedestrians. You're gonna skip down a, a one sentence so you can see how high caliber these witnesses are, okay? One is an attorney representing former Reagan attorney General Ed Meese, the Attorney General Ed Meese will be allowed to present for 30 minutes in favor of dismissing a case based on purported flaws in Jack Smith's appointment. Now just remember, the all of the media is gonna run with Aileen Cannon, such an amateur, she'll let anyone speak. No, this is the same Ed Meese that was allowed, uh, his attorney, that was allowed to go and they were trying to get him to argue before the Supreme Court on how illegal Jack Smith's um, appointment is. So this is not, you know, from out of nowhere. This is normal stuff. 
Let's get on now with a new um, area of inquiry, which is uh, Jim Jordan nailing Merrick Garland for appointing Jack Smith and Jack Smith, who has illegally handled documents just like Trump. Yeah, and I see, you know, obviously some need to be taken care of um, in a sense, um, not illegally, you know, to Jack Smith, but, you know, just doing the right thing, you know, uh, and they're obviously not, but something definitely uh, they need to do something about, you know, Merrick Garland as well. President Trump gets charged for allegedly mishandling documents, but Jack Smith can mishandle documents. No problem. Hold on. What does he mean by Jack Smith can uh, handle illegal documents? Let's go to Twitter. Here's Steve. This is your reminder that oh. this photo was staged. Look at this photo. You some This should be familiar to some of you guys. This is the photo that was presented and leaked of the Mar-a-Lago raid. Okay. They spread all these documents out like they're just thrown on the floor. And they have these covers on them that say, you know, classified, secret this, secret that, different colored envelopes, okay, and, and evidence. Anyone with a functioning brain knew it, and it was confirmed yesterday by Judge Aileen Cannon, arrest Jack Smith. It was staged. That is, wow. these papers were all over the place, and it was Jack Smith and the FBI that placed, carefully placed these envelopes and papers on top of the stacks that that named them classified. They don't have the ability to make things classified, but these are lies. That is the papers underneath these classified statements. Jack Smith doesn't actually know. He staged this photo. I mean, that's witness, ta That's uh, what is it? Witness tampering? It's evidence tampering at the very least. And so Jack, this could backfire on Jack Smith. This puts him squarely under investigation. Here's Jim Jordan. Joe Biden can mishandle documents. No problem. President Biden knowingly kept classified information. President Biden knowingly disclosed classified information. And then on page 231, he told us why President Biden did it. Page 231, quote, Joe Biden had strong motivations for ignoring the procedures for classified information because he was writing a book, book for which he got paid eight million dollars. And it was in that book where it was in that in those interview tapes that got burned, it got destroyed conveniently. Again, just destruct mass destruction of evidence uh, on on Biden's side where Biden said, I know these things are illegal. A guy could get into a lot of trouble for showing these. He said that to the guy writing the biography. The biography said that, and the bi they asked the biography where the tapes are. He goes, oh, I destroyed them. Oops. This is the same Department of Justice whose Civil Rights Division has done nothing to address wow. the attacks on Jewish students at college campuses. And this is the same Department of Justice who told us in a memo from the Attorney General himself that moms and dads at school board meetings should be investigated. Same Department of Justice who said pro-life Catholics are extremists. The same Department of Justice who censored Americans. So now Jim Jordan is going, look, the Department of Justice, it's not lazy. It's actually very active pursuing innocent American citizens, which was always the fear of the FBI, that it would start turning inward on us and the Patriot Act, Patriot Act that all these forms of investigation and squishy rules that were supposed to be for like people outside of the country trying to attack us, they go inside the country now and starts getting pointed to normal American citizens. It must be disbanded, it's illegal. What Merrick Garland is doing to us through these illegal appointments like a special counsel like Jack Smith, where suddenly ja a special counsel is that the job is not for it to be a, to take out your political opponent. And that's what Biden has done, the weaponization and taking out an opponent. Remember, when the Democrats say they're afraid Trump's going to win because he's going to try and take out an opponent, that means the Democrats are actively doing that. Mr. Garland, we're glad you're here today. We've got lots of questions. Many Americans believe there's now a double standard in our justice system. They believe that because there is. You better believe that. But that's the thing, though. I feel like it has been this past whole year of me watching these videos, reacting to these videos. It has been a double standard. And that it sucks. You know, it definitely sucks. But come November... A lot of stuff, like I said in the beginning, you know, a lot of stuff. Gonna be there is. Around, so. Well, now we know that Jack Smith is in big trouble. Good. <laughs> I hope Aileen Cannon uh, throws the legal book, proverbial book at him and aims straight for his eye and throw him in jail. If she doesn't, then Trump should this fall 
It's time for comeuppance. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I've, I don't say thank you enough. Thank you so much. Leave us a thumbs up. I'm Doug. Make sure y'all go check out Doug and Excel. Definitely amazing guy. Um, definitely. Definitely uh, something needs to be done. Like I said, I know this video, this topic was about Jack Smith, but, you know, something needs to happen with it going with Merrick Garland as well. Um, and that's just how I feel. You know, it's a lot of people, you know, I'm coming to see a lot of stuff that's coming out. Um, I, I was going to actually look at the video with Nathan Wade, but seeing what happened with him, you know, and, and, and Fanny, you know, somebody, uh, I think the reporter asked, um, something about you know what's your relationship and somebody interrupted or somebody came uh into the interview to met you know it's just it's so much stuff that's going around that's corrupt and messed up you know and i know this didn't have nothing to do with the case but it's so much stuff literally so much stuff that it's clearly out there that we even we see but it's nothing being it is it's, it's no justice in it you know and it, it sucks you know but definitely let me know y'all comments and thoughts down below much love to everybody Catch you on the next one.